In this lesson, I want to show you some really cool ways to embellish your major chords. <clears throat> and it's mainly um, based off these two, your two major bar chords, major bar chord root on the E and major bar chord root on the A. We're going to do this out of G. And it's very much in the style of um, kind of Jimi Hendrix along the lines of like what you might hear in a Wind Cries Mary or something like that. So I just want to show you a few licks you can do uh, within the chord, or as you're playing the chord. So say the progression is G to C. We could just do this. But it'd be nice to be able to throw in, you know, some decorative stuff. Okay, so that's just an example. Uh, but it really makes it sound pretty cool. So what I'm doing, playing a G major bar chord, root on the E string. So you got a couple different little shapes, basically, finger patterns. So, and it's all basically within the major scale of the chord that you're playing. So when I'm on G, it's G major. When I'm on C, it's C major. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this little on the root note, which is on the high E string. So I'm barring the B and high E string. You can slide that up a whole step. It's like a double stop slide and back up. Or you can do them separately. So that was just the B string, then when you get up to the 5th fret, you hit the E string and slide back. Or you can hammer on your 3rd finger on the 5th fret. You can hammer on and pull off. So there's a lot of stuff you can do there. The other position then is you move back a half step, you're playing the second fret, um, G string, and third fret, B string. And you're gonna use your third finger on the fourth fret, which is the third of G. So you can hammer it on, hammer on, pull off. You can also slide that up a whole step and back. And then with your pinky, you have your root note on the 5th fret of the D string. And if you go back here, you go to the natural 7 and back to the um, root. So, you get a... So I went, did our slide up there, went to this position, and then landed on the root note. You could do that too. Or you can do. So that was uh, slide up a whole step from that position. So any, you can mix all this up. So I'm just encouraging you to play around with those. But that's the position. There and here. 
Now you can stay here and just on the fifth fret and down to the third on the fourth fret. But it's all it's all using a lot of double stops, so two two notes. Because it makes it fuller. Okay, so on the C then, from this root position, um, I like to slide up and play the third on the bottom right there, and then that little chord voicing. So we're still C. It's just that the root note is going to be the third now. But it's still a C major chord. The third is now on the bottom. But it's still the same notes, just a different order, right? Because from that position then, I can do some stuff. I can use my third finger and play. So I'm picking the G and B string and hammering on, and I can do the D and G string and hammering on. And then I can do my pinky here on the eighth fret and walk down. And back to the root. So any of that stuff, then you combine the two and you got a pretty cool sound thing. Another note out of this, out of the A, uh, the uh, <clears throat> major chord with the root on the A string. When you slide that position up, you can hit that note too with your second finger on the B string. A half step up. So those are just some ideas, um, and then that's movable. You can do that at anywhere as long as you're, you know, <clears throat> you're playing that that root uh, with the E string and the root with the A string. So we can move the whole thing up and do it in A, and it's the same thing. It's just a whole step up. pretty much any time you're playing a major chord. Now, even if you're not playing in that position, say we're playing A here as an open A chord, to D as an open chord, you can still slide up to that position and do those licks. So that is some embellishments for your major chords.